Hey guys, Dr. Sharon here and welcome to Need Party. In today's video, I'm going to provide you details about AFMC eligibility criteria. Lot of students and lot of AFMC aspirants have this doubt. What is the age criteria? What is the educational qualification criteria? Whether you can be married or not? I'm going to solve all those queries in this video. And if some of your queries still remain, you can let us know in the comment section down below. Also guys, in the description of this video, you'll find the link to buy some sample papers of Toiler, which is the test of uh, English logical reasoning. So if you want, you can visit and buy those samples paper as well. So without wasting much time, let's get started. First is the most common doubt of eligibility criteria that every AFMC aspirant has is whether or not they are eligible via their age. So the age criteria of AFMC says you cannot be less than 17 years or more than 24 years at the time of admission. That means if you are born between 1st January 2000 to 31st December 2006, you should be eligible for AFMC this year. Second. Candidates must be unmarried. Married candidates are not accepted. They are not eligible for AFMC and marriage during the course is not permitted. Thirdly, candidates should be medically fit as prescribed by the standards of Government of India, Ministry of Defense and your medical would be carried out by a board of doctors in AFMC itself at the time when you go there for interview and the toilet test. Fourth, the candidate should be a citizen of India. Foreign nationals of Indian origin may be admitted into AFMC only after they have acquired the Indian citizenship or in respect of whom the Ministry of Home Affairs issues a certificate of eligibility. So fourth criteria is Jobi AFMC may apply karein. They have to be a citizen of India. Or agar they are foreign national of Indian origin, then they first have to get an Indian citizenship ka proof, citizenship ka certificate. Uske baad they can apply for AFMC. Uske baad they will become eligible for AFMC. However, every year there are five seats in AFMC that are reserved for foreign national. Aapko seat matrix wale video mein bataunga main. There are a total of 150 seats. Jis mein se five seats are reserved for foreign national. 145 is for Indian nationals. Now these foreign nationals, their selection is done by their own countries. So five foreign nationals are there in every batch. But for any Indian person to apply in AFMC, you have to be a citizen of India or any foreign national who is applying for AFMC ka seat with Indian origin has to provide the proof of Indian citizenship. Fifth, candidates must have passed one of the qualifying exams in the first attempt with English, Physics, Chemistry and Biology taken simultaneously and securing not less than 60% of the aggregate marks in these three science subjects taken together and not less than 50% marks in English and 50% marks in each of the science subject. They must have also passed an examination in mathematics of the standard of 10th class. So, do things I will specify karunga. First of all, sare ke sare candidates ko, they have to pass an exam in first attempt with English, Physics, Chemistry and Biology. All four subjects should have taken simultaneously. Matlab, saath mein apne charo subjects pass karne hai first attempt mein. Aur charo subjects ka aggregate should be more than 50% marks. Teen science subjects, Physics, Chemistry, Biology ka aggregate should be more than 60% marks and kisi bhi individual subject mein the mark should be more than 50%. Iske alawa, Every candidate should have passed the subject of 10th May mathematics. Ka. Matlab, maths aapne class 10th May pass kiya hona chahiye. So basically, 5 subjects okay English, Physics, Chemistry, Biology in class 12th with percentage more than 60% in aggregate and mathematics in class 10th. All those who are eligible candidates of AFMC and want to pursue MBBS course, they will have to mandatorily register and apply for AFMC via the www mcc.nic.in website. This is the official website which carries out the counseling process of the NEET exam. So after you have applied, they will release the cutoff and all those who have cleared the cutoff, they can go for the further screening process. Remember guys, the cutoff would be released only after you have applied, not before you have applied. So even if you are thinking whether I'll not clear the cutoff or not, you should apply for this college and then wait for the cutoff to be released by the college. So that was everything about the eligibility criteria. All the details of this eligibility criteria has been taken from the admission voucher of AFMC itself. 
I hope the video solved some of your queries. That was our attempt over here. If you still have some queries and doubts, you can let us know down in the comment section. We'll solve your queries there as well. Also guys, in the description box of this video, you'll find link to buy some sample papers of Toiler. So if you want, you can access those links and solve those Toiler sample papers as well. So that would be all in this video guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then all the best and keep working hard. Do like and share this video. And if you are new out there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.